Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Well, welcome back to Game Grumps. Okay. <laughs> today Hello. we're gonna be. Ow. Ooh. Oh. Uh, today we're gonna be playing this level uh, in, in infinitely. Yeah. This is a level we can't beat. I cannot beat this level. Can, no one can beat it. It's it's just it's that midsection is so fucking finicky, and you have to go through this this asinine like fucking thirty second gauntlet. That's just like oh maybe sometimes it fucks up. It's these conveyor belts, man. That's what I've discovered about levels that are just infuriating. Is these yeah. fucking conveyor belts? It, it's it's the le it's the conveyor belts and the music. Because when you're- when you're struggling and fucking up endlessly and you're enraged, the last thing you want to hear is La 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh Whoa, God. boy. <laughs> Dude, hearing you make that sound and then looking over and seeing like the immediate like Fucking like, ugh! Your face like <laughs> dropped into naturally after making that sound. Uh, God damn it! No, wow. you are finding some creative ways now. Yeah, it, at this point, this is this episode should be called "Ways That Aaron Has Died That He Has Never Died Before." That's very catchy. Really, it'll really fit really in jumps that off the screen. <laughs> YouTube search bar, super easily. Yeah. Was that episode called? Oh, that's right. It was called "Ways to, That for Aaron to Die That He Has Never Died Before." Yeah. I, I, Mario Maker episode 97. Yeah, actually, Kevin, just make it an acronym. W F A T D T H N D B. Good, good acronym. Do it. <laughs> Do it, you silly. Do it, you silly bitch. What? The? Oh, you can block them. No way. Wow. Yeah, but then I got to deal with this garbage. Yeah. Maybe I can block them on the other side too. Maybe. But give it a shot. It might- you, you have such a good system for killing them now. Sometimes the system doesn't work, man. The fucking conveyor belt is ass. Are you saying that sometimes the system is it's down? down. <laughs> the system is down. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, cool. My name is Strongbad. <laughs> Whoa. I make internet cartoons. He doesn't make the cartoons, he just stars in them. That's correct, Aaron. He can't make cartoons. He himself is one. Whoa, you can kill those things? The cheat is a cartoon, and he can make cartoons. That's like all his whole bit. Oh, shit. It's this whole shtick. Didn't think about that. That's so whole shticky icky Have you ever... non-ironically referred to, uh... Marijuana? Yeah, as shticky icky No, I haven't! I don't encounter marijuana a lot in my life. It's too bad. I, I- I- I just like... I block it from becoming a thing in my life. You should hang out with a Rastafarian, like I do. And he's like, What you like to smoke, man? And I'm like, well, joints are okay, but I- I like blunts generally. And he's like, oh, you like the blunt? That's an actual conversation I had once. <laughs> do you like the blunt? With a Rastafarian. I'm going to be blunt about it. <laughs> yeah, he was. He did not fuck around. That dude could twist up a blunt like, whoa. This was in my smoking days, which are long gone. So you have to twist it. Uh... I know you- I know you wrap it. You don't exactly twist it. Uh, you roll it. But, like, twist up a blunt is like a saying. Oh, gotcha. Right. The same way they call it trees, but they're not actually trees. Uh... Yeah, that blow your mind? Well, they're just, like, weeds, aren't they? Like, what kind of plant is- is marijuana? It's, um... It's classified as. I believe it's a- it's a, oh, that's a good question. Is it a shrub? Is it a shrub? I believe it's a bush. A bush. A marijuana bush. I a think bush. they just called it a plant. The marijuana plant. God damn it. Fuck. Fuck. This is good. Fuck Monty Mole. Fuck him. Fuck Monty Mole. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. I believe there was an NWA song. Fuck Monty Mole? Yeah, that was like, Fuck Monty Mole, yo, fuck him! I might be- th I might be remembering that wrong. It might have been the police. I, you know what? It actually- it was. It was fuck the police. No! Hmm. God fucking damn it. I gotta tell you, dude. I don't know if you'll ever beat this My one. fucking spirits, man. Yeah. I mean, I think- I think- I know in my heart you would beat it. Um, if you had, like, a lot of time and stuff, but like... I think- I think in this case your spirit will break. 
before you actually defeat the, uh... Well, that makes for good television, Dan, so oh, well, I'm gonna right. let it happen. Alright, fuck it. Because we'll, I we'll do what I can for the audience, alright? You do. All these lovelies watching this show, they expect some hilarity. They expect some me freaking the fuck out. <laughs> Because this is our- this is absolutely our most popular show. Sonic Boom didn't even get the numbers that Mario Maker made, gets. Is that right? So there's a lot of people watching this. There's a lot riding on me, alright? Okay. And I really have to fucking- I either have to beat it, or I have to freak the fuck out. Well, I Those mean- the two options, alright? One of them is gonna happen. Like, it's not like you're exactly. putting- Exactly! That's my point. Not like you're putting on an act. Like, I am not at all putting yeah. on an act. Yeah. This is my life that we're talking about here. Yeah. God. I, I I hope I hope the lovelies at home. No! I got past the Monty moles, <laughs> and the fucking the saw just goes up and down and up and down. And every time I go, it's at a different inconvenient spot for me. I hope the lovelies appreciate the fact that you've had f four or five legit nervous breakdowns since we started doing this show together. It's uh, it's really bring brought me back to my youth. When playing Mario Kart and I'd lose the race and I'd just like flip out. It's it's weird because I'm not an angry dude. No, you're not. Uh, it, by any stretch of the imagination, I, I I don't get angry at people. Video games are intentionally frustrating, though. Yeah, there's just something about it. Maybe maybe it's like maybe it's like a self failure thing. You know, like I'm I'm failing myself. I know that I'm capable of so much more. It's in, in life. It's a little bit possible. But I like they just bring it out of you. I remember um, my buddy threw a controller at me, and if it had connected, it would have killed me. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, he was just mad. It's just like fucking and like no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> that reminds me of uh, that subreddit. Yes, 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 no. Oh, is it like a bunch of gifs of like stuff that's like oh, God. exactly that? It's so fucking great. It, like, there's one where like a robot is like trying to play soccer. We probably talked about this on the show before because I loved it so much. But like, <laughs> it's like a little robot going like, choo -choo 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 -choo, like taking little tiny baby steps. And there's like a soccer ball sitting on the goal line of a goal, and the robot's approaching it. There's nothing else around. And then, like, he gets to the goal line and fucking, like, trips over the ball and face plants <laughs> in the goal. <laughs> it's so wonderful. I'll have to show it to you. One of my favorites <clears throat> is, uh, gifts that keep on giving. Ooh, is that or, a Reddit? Or, and some people call it gifts that keep on giffing. Okay. But, uh, it's just, like, a gif where, like, shit happens, and then, like, more shit happens, and then more shit happens, yeah. and you're just like, When does it fucking end? Yeah. Dude, you're better off not blocking them there. Yeah. And, like, it just- it's more trouble than it's worth. There's this one gif, which is one of my favorites, where it's like, these guys, and they're trying to loan- they're- they're trying to load an ex an excavator onto, like, a boat. Mm-hmm. And it's just like... <laughs> like, it, the excavator keeps, like, dipping a little bit into the water, and, like, it's, like, pulling the boat down, and you're like, Oh, I think they're gonna make it, and then, like, people start falling in the water, and you're like, Oh, jeez, <laughs> and then, like, the excavator just, like, gets in the boat, and the boat starts half sinking, and you're like, Oh, shit, what? And then the ex <laughs> excavator turns around and, like, grabs the land to, like, bring it back <laughs> on land, which makes it sink more, and you're like, Oh my god! <laughs> and then the whole fucking boat just sinks immediately, and then, like, the excavator arms, like, going crazy trying to do something about it. It and it just, it's just, and then it, it all sinks, and then everyone's like, Oh no! That's so fucking, that's such madness. Oh, it's a great gif. Th there's one kind of similar to that, but in a cool way, with like snow falling off a roof. Oh, yeah. God damn it! You can get up there. No! No? No! <laughs> Are you sure? They're all gonna laugh at you! Uh, I can try. No. <laughs> No siree, Bob. Yeah, it's like... I don't even know how it happens, it just looks like a little, like, rectangle of snow falling off a roof, and then another rectangle of snow from another part of the roof, and then gradually it happens more and more, until a fucking, like, waterfall of, like, Tetris-looking snow is just, like, pouring off, um, perfectly mathematically off this roof, and, uh, I'm sure anyone standing under it was killed, but... I mean, whatever, it looked... 
awesome. I think it's just because the roof, the roofing like sheets are are like very square. Yeah, it like co co collected on individual shingles. Yeah, so like all the snow is unevenly. There's like little cuts in the snow. It makes you realize how scary an avalanche must be, you know, to be in because you're just like cross country skiing, and then all of a sudden you see like one little like blip, and then another blip. And then, like, a huge fucking rumbling, and then the entire mountain is coming down on you. I'm pretty sure I, uh, realized how scary an avalanche was the moment I learned what an avalanche was. Yeah, you might be right. <laughs> it is- it is some scary shit. It's just like, oh yeah, imagine you're- you're on a slope of snow, and then snow just comes at you, and it buries you, and it's, like, cold, and it's horrible, and you can't breathe the end. <laughs> Nobody finds you, because it's just, like, amazingly fucking vast. No, you'd be fine. <laughs> You just gotta, you got you gotta bring a juice box with you, and poke a, poke a straw, poke the straw through the, the roof of the, the snow, straw. and then just breathe out, and then be like, help me! <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, and like, when you get tired or parched from calling help me through the straw, you can sip on the apple juice. Wow, you are getting way worse at this by the second. That was one of the things when I was a kid. Let's give it five more shots, All right. and then call it a day. That was one of the things as a kid, uh, that always deterred me away from smoking, was like, the, you know, they use all the scare tactics in school. Mm -hmm. Which is like, whatever, it's fine, because it's unhealthy. Um, but like, fucking, they would be like, this is what it's like to have emphysema, and they like, gave you a tiny little straw, and they were like, breathe through it, and then you're just like, oh god. They, oh, I never thought about that, that must be an awful feeling. Yeah. Um. I was like, I don't want to do that. And every so often, I would like go back to it. I would, be, I would be like, I need to remind myself what it feels like. Right. And then it's just like it's horrible and it's the worst. Yeah, fair enough. The um, what was I gonna say? The um, the thing I always think about is, the I think it was Malcolm Gladwell. There was one, well, one of those interesting theory books I read talked about why anti-smoking campaigns only work to a certain degree, like, kids still smoke no matter what. Mm -hmm. And, um, and he was saying the idea is that, like, most of these anti-smoking PSAs have to do with smoking itself, and kids know that smoking is dangerous, and, and it's, it's bad for you and all that. Um, the problem isn't that, is that they don't, they don't think smoking is cool, they think smokers are cool. Mm -hmm. Like, um, cause, chances are, if you started smoking as, when you were young, it's probably because you saw, like, your older brother do it, or your, like, the cool kids in school fucking, the older kids do it. And, um, and that's why it doesn't work, yes! But don't smoke anyway, kids. Makes your teeth gross, and your breath bad. That is true. And well, I don't know, I mean... But, but... When you're a, when you're a kid, you feel like invincible, you know. Fucking god damn it! When you're a kid, you feel like invincible. <laughs> so even when you when you hear, even when you know it's bad, yeah, you're like, well, you know, whatever. I'm fucking. I feel great every day. That is true. That is true. There's like, there's... But when you when you bring the reality down on it, and you're like, this is what it feels like, dude. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, geez. That, I mean, that was, that was that. I, I mean, that's the one thing. You know, I remember getting shown, like, a black lung and shit, and I'm like, I, well, I, I don't know what my lungs even look like, right. so what the fuck does that mean to me? Um, but just feeling that, I'm like, I don't want that. Right. Why would I do something that actively gives me that? That's a good point. If, uh, 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 there we go. Yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say, but it, it was something along those lines. It's like, bah! Um, yeah, fuck it, I lost it. It'll make sense later. I... When I remember it, and I'm like, damn it, I'm not on the show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've been fired. <laughs> no, I mean, um, well, never mind. That's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't want to make your decisions for you, but uh, I can make a strong case against. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is very stressful. T tell me about it, dude! Sorry. Jesus! I know it's stressful! Oof. Okay. You're, I've been doing it this whole fucking time. You're getting uh, better. You're getting better at it. I'm impressed. Don't, don't give me the don't give me the props yet, bro. Okay. Those things shoot bullet bills too. <laughs> I give me a break. 
shit, shit! Why did I do that? I don't know. Why did I fucking do that? I just stayed uh, under where the Goomba goes. I think it's because you remembered. I was clear. All right, one more. The last shot. I this is it. I can't take it, dude. I know. I can't, I can't take, take it. it. It's fucking it's garbage, dude. Someone at home will beat this, and then you can. That doesn't. That's not me, though. Message Aaron on Twitter and tell him what a fuck up he is. <laughs> There's been like four people that have cleared this stage. Four? Yeah, out of like a 200 or something. No shit. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's, it's not pretty good. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the point. That is literally 2%. You lost God your booty. Damn it, I lost my booty. <laughs> <laughs> that sweet booty of yours. Good thing I'm not a stripper. Yeah, that'd be terrible. I lost my booty. God damn it, but. <laughs> Oh, next time on Game Grumps. You're like, Bowser, if I can't have you, <laughs> I don't want to live! Goodbye. Bye! I'm gonna get over it. Oof. Suck my fucking dick, my dick is hard. I want you to suck it, put it inside your mouth, and use your tongue on the underside of it. <laughs> <laughs>